Had to pick up the peak reader from Dave Walter. Somebody might be going on a test drive in an M4 though. They've got a ton of M cars in today. Still the E60 and five tons of M6s and M3s, all E92s, and a 1M actually for 64 grand. But I predict he is going to blow me away at this light. Or at least try, he doesn't know the power of the M54. He's got a green. Nope, he's a good boy. Topaz blue. Topaz blue, actually not raining right now. Uh, Kenan's here, we're getting ready to go look at the 544 Rasbon. He's on his way. But uh, Kenan's got the Xenons done. I think that's the last time we filmed this thing. Kind of dirty. And nice BMW got there, Kenan. Hey, thanks, buddy. That was cool. You like those frames? Yeah, I like those frames. Headlights are dirty. Whole car is filled. Is that what it expels for? Yeah, well, I knew they're, they're perfect, though. How's that holding up? Really, really well. I'm happy with them. I only, like I said, I'll make two mistakes from there and then there. But that's how you Where? Oh, you can't really see it. There's one. It's like, it's on here somewhere. It's on the side. I don't see it. It's there. I see that. There's a little bit of a... Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of a booble. Um, what else do you do? you do an automatic swap yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you think anybody's done that? Think buys a manual. I don't think and, that. Uh, you, uh, hey, you know what? If somebody did buy a manual and wanted an automatic, there's plenty of people on the boards that would probably trade cars, no problem. Why are you carrying a coat? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I don't need We're it. in Ohio. Well, I had to it's walk 60. around. I had to walk around, so I needed to wear the coat. Alright. Well, Resmond's on his way, so we're going to depart shortly. All right, uh, Kenan's gonna teach us something here that we never knew before. Hi, Rosman. Hello. So, Honda CRV, it's a pretty popular model. It's one with the tail lights up on either side of the rear window. CRV, what does that stand for? Well, according to this, Speak it, up. It, according to this, it either stands for a compact recreational vehicle, which makes sense, or better yet, comfortable runabout vehicle. How ridiculous is that? Comfortable runabout vehicle. So that's what the CRV stands for. So, where are we going right now? Checking out a 1999 black 540i six-speed sport. Uh, it's in Willard, Ohio, about an hour and a half uh, from Hudson. Just on our way down there. I mentioned in uh, the end of yesterday's vlog, we're gonna talk about the um, 540 we drove yesterday. It was a 98, 127,000 miles. I had high expectations. The dealer was asking six grand for it. That's a little overpriced for what it is on paper. So I thought, wow, it must be really clean. Bag not the shit. case. Not the case. Total bag oh shit. Um, looking it over, like cosmetically, it wasn't horrible. There were a lot of a lot of broken little uh, acceptors and fastening hardware in the back. But up here in the front, like all the climate control, the MID pixels, the cluster pixels, all that was good. Buddy. The leather wasn't bad. What are we looking at? Yeah. Oh, coppers up there. Gotcha. Yep. So uh, then we drove it. That was bad. What did my hands look like on the highway at 80 miles an hour? I have never felt oh, a car terrible. shake so much. It was beyond unsafe. It was remarkable. I touched the brakes getting off the highway. I mean, I thought one of the wheels was gonna pop off. The bearings on that car had to be totally seized. The rotors were warped as shit. The tires were out, incredibly out of balance, so. We got out of the car, the guy who went along on the test drive, Jamie, he went back inside. We looked at each other, we're like, hell no! Hell got this business card, threw it out, ripped it up and threw it out in the lot and left. So today we have higher expectations for this car. Kenan's coming along because... I'm the cooling dick. He's the cooling dick and supposedly there's a minor leak in this car. So we're gonna check that out. We also have a peak reader. Um, peak reader and an iPad with the table on it in case we find any lights we can pull codes. And uh, to answer the questions we're driving right now, what is this? A 2014? 14. 14 Jetta. What's the S? Two point, is it 2.0? Yep. 2.0 in line four with 15,000 miles on it. Manual. That's the best part. Yeah, buddy. So we're in Ruggles, Ohio right now. Um, way out in the boonies. Really isn't anything here. Fields, farms. Occasional home. That's one of the more modern places we've seen. Bombed out, built, well, not bombed out buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not bombed out. Abandoned and boarded up. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. check this place out. Adam's family lunch. I like the trees though. Whoa. That is creepy. <laughs> Trailer parks, cemeteries. Haven't seen one strip club yet. I don't know how these people live down here. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Rosman, what's that over there? That's my new car. That's your new car? <laughs> that's fine. That's your that's your second car? Yep, that's second 540. There it goes. 99, 540, 140,000 miles. Body, 9.5 out of 10. Everything works except the freaking traction control again. You and traction control cars. We're gonna get that fixed ASAP though. Yep. Sport wheels, you scored. Yep. And we got a deal on it. Woo! Okay, so that's a bit of a surprise, huh? Welcome back, it's 105. Uh, Rosvon now owns another 540, a 99 in black, 127,000 miles. The interior is freaking mint, it's got ever so slight pixel issues on the cluster, barely anything. Uh, the MID appeared to be fine. Um, yeah, so we drove yesterday one with 120, no, this one has 142, the one he bought. The one we drove yesterday had 127, and this just perfectly illustrates the point that mileage on a vehicle doesn't really mean shit. You can drive one with 127, I've never felt a car drive like that, let alone a BMW, let alone a V8. E39, six speed sport package. I mean, it was it was horrible. That car needs to be parted and scrapped. I, I don't think there's any bringing that back short of spending about 20 grand on it. Uh, the one we drove today, total opposite. It had a little bit of vibration due to uh, the tires haven't been off. The front tires were put on in like 06 or before, haven't been touched since. That's nine years of the same front tires. I'm sure it's way out of balance. Uh, so it's gonna need a front tire balance and I don't know about the rotors yet. We'll start with the tire balance since that's pretty cheap. Um, really, that's the only issue we detected. It does have the trifecta. If you know the BMW terms, that's uh, DSC, ABS, and brake lights. So hopefully a wheel speed sensor as opposed to an ABS module fault. Um, hopefully we'll get Bobby down here sometime this spring or early summer, we'll get him to put some software on it and figure out what it's bitching about before we start dumping money into sensors and whatnot. Um, but really, other than those two issues, there's next to no rust on the car. All the rockers, jack points, they all look great. Um, honestly, they look new. Wheels, uh, they're style 32, the pre-2001 Sport Package 540 wheels, which I actually prefer to the style 66. Um, they could probably should be refinished if he's looking to make a visual statement with it, but right now they'll be fine. It's got all season twos on the front, Connie's on Continental's on the back, something like that. Um, so anyways, he's got a check. We've got to get some money out of that check, and then we're going to head back down there in a couple days and pick her up. So we'll film more then. Um, just, I, I, was un, I was in shock at the interior condition. Nobody takes care of a 540 like that. Generally, people buy 540s, beat the shit out of them, drive them into the ground, and then sell them for try to sell them for six grand when they're worth two. This one was worth eight, and we got it for 53. He got it for 53. So anyways, it's 107. I did have to uh, run down to Dave Walder today to pick up my peak tool. We wanted to scan that. Came up with one code, the light's not on inside the car, but it did, DME did report one code of an engine cooling fan control module. So we're gonna we're just reset that, drive it a week, see if it comes back. If it does, we'll do more research on that code. The fact that it's not important enough to trip the light is very good news, and that's the only one stored at least that the peak can see on table 0F. Um, so I had to go down there, um, checked up on the car. The power steering line showed up today. I don't know if they did that today or they're going to plan on doing it tomorrow, Wednesday. But they are going to get that hard brake line from the ABS module out to the um, brake hose. Then they'll put the new stainless hose on there and then the caliper. So when I get the car back, it shouldn't have any power steering leak anymore. They replaced the, they're going to replace the rack to cooler line. Um, we'll have the new front calipers in the front, stainless lines in the front, and then one new hard line that goes out to the front, I think right corner. The rears, as I briefly mentioned yesterday, they're not able to do those due to the condition of the hard lines that run back through the firewall, under the car, under the gas tank, uh, through the chassis or whatever, and then to the actual rear hoses. They said they guarantee if they try to take the hoses off those hard lines, they will snap. So it's like 12 hours of labor to then drop the fuel tank and replace those lines all the way from the hood back. So I told them, no, let's not do that now. They said it's not a safety issue. 
Uh, it's not a drivability issue, just keep an eye out for leaks. If it does leak, we'll have to do that. So my plan is I'm gonna let finances recover a bit. Mowing starts back up here in a couple weeks. We'll have fantastic income from that. Then sometime early summer, I'll schedule an appointment, get it in there for a few days, and then we'll just have all new hard brake lines. And uh, then the rear hoses, and I suppose we'll have to pay for another bleed. Here's a sign at spring. I come out here in the garage and we've got freaking big ass spiders again. Just what I want to see. God damn it, it's behind that wood thing. Probably survive that, but hopefully not. So the 330 is inside, which is nice. It's not used to being dry and slightly warmer at night, but that's good because it's been raining all day. Driving down there about 100 miles total, total to where the 540 was. It was just like driving inside a cloud, freaking miserable weather. Good news is it's been fairly warm. It was only 52 as a low last night. The high today was probably around 55. Uh, we have a 60 something tomorrow. It's currently uh, 55 inside and 50 outside. So that's not horrendous. Uh, let's see, what else? Lots of that. I don't have to go into my lab tomorrow. I got an email about that. Um, so no labs for two weeks while well, exam two is due on April 23rd. So I've got time to get that done. There's four questions, but they're pretty well advanced. Uh, they're pretty involved. So we're gonna have to figure that out for um, business statistics. Then I've got to write a five page paper by next Monday for human resource management. That's gonna be fun. It's on employee engagement. Then I have an essay due tomorrow in college writing two, essay number three of four. Four is a group essay. This, this lady just loves packing stuff on. We don't get any project introductions for two weeks, and then in one week we get half the semester explained to us. So, fantastic. I get to write that essay tomorrow. Um, but tomorrow is going to consist of getting that essay done. We've got a Cavs game tomorrow night. Should be able to get the car back tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so it's going to get wet for its first time in a year on the way home, I would assume. So then we'll do a uh, Zeno detail on that for no more than two hours, hopefully. Uh, so we'll be done with the car. And I'm really trying to get these tires off the Civic out of here. They're on Craigslist. They're down to 20 bucks for four tires with more than safe tread on them. Might end up putting them up there for free because they're in the way. I'm going to go in, shower, do the vlog, get to bed, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on hump day. Good night.